Welcome to the Max Survival Skills course. My name is Francesco Schiavone, and I'm going to be the trainer for the course. As the name implies, this is a course on survival skills using your Mac. So it's not necessarily meant for somebody that has been using the Mac for a while. If you're an experienced Mac user, probably this course is not for you. But if you're new to the Mac, this course is definitely for you. And even if you're a Mac OS X legacy user, let's say that you've used a Mac and you haven't upgraded in a number of years, probably this course would also be for you. As a survival skills course, we're going to start with basics about the Finder, which is the main interface and the main program for your Mac. Then we discuss the basic interaction with your Mac, how to work with the trackpad, the magic mouse, and even the keyboard. Later, we get into some of the features of the Finder and how to work with them. One of the major components of the Mac is its search capabilities. So we're going to be discussing Spotlight. And since your Mac is not a standalone piece of hardware, rather it's something that can connect to the internet and get and send media and data back and forward, we're also going to be mentioning iCloud and some of the sharing capabilities. And at the end of the course, I get to describe some of the main applications that are included in OS X. To get started, let's answer the question, what is an operating system? Well, the operating system starts with a computer. Let's assume that you have a MacBook. And your computer is made out of hardware, which is made out of a number of components, like the RAM or the memory, storage, display, keyboard, printer, and so forth. But when we interact with your computer, you don't go directly to the memory and start manipulating the memory. You actually use applications. Things like Photoshop, Word, Cubase, Logic Pro. And the piece that sits between the software and the hardware is the operating system. So the operating system is the one that manages interaction between the software that you use, the applications that you use, and the hardware where those applications are running on. In the case of the Mac, it's called OS X. And the way we ourselves interact with OS X is by actually becoming the interface that we use or that we see to work with our Mac. And what I mean by the interface, I mean the way things feel and look. For example, the menu bar at the top, the way the windows appear, the buttons, the colors, the transparency, the menu bar items, the dock, all of these graphical elements define how the OS feels to us. And that's why Windows is so different from the Mac. It's because both of them are operating systems, both of them are managing the interactions between the software and the hardware, but they do look different and they do have very different feels to them.